Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk in this video about how I per prioritize. So uh, a lot of people are telling me, okay, well, Jimmy, you, you've made all these videos about uh, all the stuff that you cut out of your life. What the hell do you do all day, right? Like uh, you, you, you don't do Facebook, you don't do movies, you don't do news, you don't do video games, you don't do TV, you don't do, uh, you know, sport, you don't, you don't like watch sports. Uh, you know, you cut out so many things. What the hell do you do? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what in this video. So um, I have four main priorities in my life, and uh, and they they all start with F, so I can remember them very easily. But ba basically, they're they're four priorities. I have my faith. You, uh, many of you guys know I'm Christian. Um, my family. Um, I have uh, I have a wife and kids. Um, my finances. That's uh, largely my job, and you know, like. Well, I have many jobs now at this point, but uh, but my, you know, and Bitcoin and, you know, making sure that that's all good and my fitness. Um, and that's largely powerlifting and making sure that I exercise regularly and things like that. Now, if what I what I am doing doesn't fall into those categories, I don't do it or I try not to. Um, and I, I try to minimize those and I, I try to cut out those things that don't fall into those categories. Um, and it's because they're kind of a waste of time. Um, I, I heard a story a long time ago about Warren Buffett, like uh, sort of mentoring somebody. And, uh, and Warren Buffett said to that guy, hey, write down the top 20 list of your priorities. And the guy said, OK. All right. So he wrote, wrote them down and gave them the list. And Warren Buffett said, OK, take the top five. That's going to be your top five priorities. And then the guy goes, OK, what, what do I do with the bottom 15? Um, and he goes, that's your list of stuff to avoid. <laughs> and, and the idea was that good is often the enemy of best. Uh, and and you, you think you're doing some good things and you justify doing them, but they, they prevent you from doing those higher order things. Um, and, you know, it's not to say that, like, Facebook is bad per se. You know, I mean, there are lots of good things about Facebook, right? Like, you, you, you keep in touch with people or whatever, and there are lots of good things about following sports or watching movies or watching TV or whatever. There's nothing good about sugar, though. Um, but whatever it is, uh, you're you're getting you can get something out of it. It's just not a very good use of your time, oftentimes, if it's not your priority. And that that's something that you have to think really deeply about are what are your values? Right. What 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 are the things that you are really, really passionate about that you want to accomplish in your life. And this requires a very long term mindset. And I'm not going to lie, like uh, being in Bitcoin helps me be in that long term mindset because I'm, I'm thinking about the next 10, 20, 30 years instead of the next six months and how I'm going to, uh, you know, get all rich or something like that. That's that's not how I think anymore. I'm thinking in terms of decades and how I want to set up my life for 30 years from now. And that's uh, that's a very helpful way to think. Um, if you haven't, uh, there, there's a very good uh, thing called the self-authoring program by Jordan Peterson. I did this about a year ago uh, that helped me sort of sort a lot of that stuff out. Um, there's another one that uh, that I, I did that was kind of similar back in 2008. What color is your parachute? And sort of made me like do all of these exercises to figure out what was actually important to me and what I wanted to uh, accomplish in life. And having that framework helps you uh, to do 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 stuff day to day. So um, I'll talk more about what I actually do on a day to day basis in another video. But the actual uh, process of prioritization hopefully can help you to determine whether or not certain actions that you're doing are actually uh, you know beneficial for your long long term goals. And um, and having those match is very very satisfying. So hope that helps you. Uh, if if this is you know, not helpful, then, you know, feel free to throw it away. But if it does, let me know in the comments. This song is not.